Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Sheehan. I'm one of the assistant principals at the STEM Academy. I'm also the IB Diploma Program Coordinator. Uh, welcome to the course selection process for the 24-25 school year. Uh, the process started yesterday. We had students during their advisory time watch a video presentation about courses, and then we had an opportunity for, for students to uh, ask questions with the staff. So that's how we started yesterday. They also received their course selection sheets that they'll have signed to bring back. So what we want to do tonight to share the same information with you. So here's our, our agenda for this evening. We're gonna, there's a short video for the current ninth grade class. It's about 10 minutes or so uh, that discusses the process for next year. The process going into 10th grade, it's, it's very simple. It's fairly simple. Most of the classes that they take are prescribed. Uh, they still have the option of taking elective and performance music. So the video that you see then will go through that. It's the same one, as I said, that they saw yesterday. Uh, when they are in advisory. And then around 6.30, our teachers will be available for questions uh, about the 10th grade courses. You'll be able to find the links to the Zoom rooms for that on the district website. You can see the link below. And also the QR code on your screen uh, provides you direct access to the same website so that way you can get to it easier. And then at 6.30, if you have, by chance, have a current 10th grade student, we'll do the same thing where we'll show the video that the 10th grade students saw about 11th and 12th grade year. And then at 7 o'clock, then the rooms will be available and teachers will be available for answering questions about uh, IB courses and the Pathway courses, CAS, E, and all those things. So I'm going to give you a moment just to, if you need to get a the link ready so you can uh, look for the Zoom links after this video. The other thing that's available on the website is you'll find that there's a place to ask questions. It's a Padlet uh, program that's online, and you can post any questions you may have there as well that we can answer for you. So I'm going to start the video for the current ninth grade students. So if you are a parent or you're a current 10th grade student, um, that video will be shown at 630 and that's also about 15 minutes, um, which gives you information about the program in general. All 10th grade students are required to take American Literature, the 10th grade level of a language, Biology, Health and Wellness II. All 10th grade students are also expected to complete U.S. History in the Modern World and Chemistry, but do have the option of taking these courses in the blended format. This slide shows the current mathematics course sequence. Students that complete math analysis have the options of taking HL analysis and approaches, HL applications and interpretations, or SL analysis and approaches in the IB. Students that complete Algebra 2 have the options of taking SL analysis and approaches, or SL applications and interpretations in the IB. Students who have, students who have questions about the sequence should speak with their counselor. 
more specific details about the differences in analysis and approaches versus applications and interpretations can be found in the program of study or can be discussed with your counselor or math teacher. Tenth grade students do have the opportunity to select one elective course. Let's talk about what's available. Students are able to choose art in the 21st century where emphasis is placed on student choice and voice in the art making process. In recording studio, students have the opportunity to create, perform, produce, and publish original compositions as well as investigate the songwriting process. Students also have two engineering electives available. Communications technology focuses on visual communication through photography, graphic design, and other forms of multimedia. Engineering technology focuses on different aspects of engineering, such as mechanical systems, electronics, and modeling. Also available to 10th grade students are two computer science courses. Computer, job, computer Programming Java is an entry-level course focusing on website and game development. The principles and practices of computer science course is for students with prior background in programming with projects that include iPhone application development and self-playing role games. Performance music courses are also available as electives. A few things to note. Orchestra, choir, and marching band can be taken either as a full elective, meaning six times per cycle, or during seminar only, meaning three times per cycle. Students may choose two of the three performance music electives with the two courses sharing the available elective time. Students may also choose one of the electives mentioned earlier and a performance music course, but the performance music course can only be taken during seminar. When choosing music electives, please pay attention to course numbers. Course numbers ending in S denote seminar only options. When choosing marching band, please select the correct course based on residency denoted by an E or W in the course number. Also available is Cyber Driver's Ed. This course is an asynchronous course run by the Downingtown Cyber Academy that does not meet during the school day. Students also have the ability to take this course as an 11th grader if needed. This slide provides the timeline for the course selection process for this year. You will have the opportunity during seminar on January 12th to talk with faculty about courses for next year. Your parents will also have the opportunity on January 18th to ask questions of the faculty via Zoom. The online portal opens January 22nd and closes February 2nd. Directions for the portal can be found on the course selection website. The first step is to ask lots of questions. We will provide multiple opportunities to speak with staff, speak with the staff uh, about next year's courses. Please make sure you complete the online planner before the window closes on the second. This slide shows a screenshot of the planner. Any changes after the second must be a request by filling out the Google survey linked on the course selection website. Any questions regarding the planner, please see your counselor, Ms. Shell, or myself. Once you complete the online planner, please return your signed course selection sheet to the subject teacher designated on the sheet. For current ninth grade students, please return your sheet to your, to your universal physics teacher. For 10th grade, please return your sheet to your biology teacher. We ask that you do this by February 2nd. Please use this website to access all the needed information for course selection. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This site includes links to resources such as the program of study that includes more information on credit requirements, IB information, and summaries of all courses. Course selection sheets are also available if needed, as well as a link to a Google form if any requests would like to be changed after February 2nd.
Thank you. Okay, so that was the, the video that the current ninth graders saw. As I said, it's 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 fairly straightforward. A lot of the courses that they take in ninth grade are prescribed. Um, you'll have more options when you get to your tenth grade year. Um, you see some of the the timeline had to be adjusted a little bit because of snow. So um, you'll notice that they was the seventeenth rather than twelfth. So at this time, uh, about in about fifteen minutes at six thirty. Our st staff will be available for questions about current ninth grade cl um, classes for the 10th grade year for current ninth grade students. So in about 15 minutes, uh, the Zoom room should be available. Again, you'll find those Zoom room links on the website that was QR coded. And also it's on the, the STEM Academy website as well. You can also post questions on the Padlet, which is linked there. The videos themselves are also linked right on the uh, course selection website for the STEM Academy. So if you want to rewatch that video or you missed part of it, you're also uh, more than welcome to go there to see it. All right. So in about 15 minutes, the Zoom room links will go live for the current ninth grade students. Thank you.
good evening. If you're just joining us, my name is Mike Sheehan. I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the STEM Academy. I'm also the IB Diploma Program Coordinator. Uh, what we've already done tonight, as you see on the agenda, is we've watched the video that the students watch for the current ninth grade or the class of 2027. And Zoom, re Zoom rooms are now open for those uh, parents and students of the current ninth grade class to ask questions about next year. So what we're going to do now is we're going to now show the video for the class of 2026, which will describe uh, courses for the 11th and 12th grade years here at the Academy, because all the courses that the students take in 11th grade have a second year in 12th grade. So they're, they're the same courses. Uh, it's about 15 minute video. And then after that, around seven o'clock, the Zoom rooms will be open again for questions about IB courses and the STEM pathway courses, our CAS and EE program. So what you'll, you'll see on the screen right now is the link at the bottom. That is to our district website that has all the information that was shared. It was sent out to you already. Uh, it has this, these links. It has a link to, open, to uh, post questions. It has the Zoom room links as well. And it also has copies of the videos that were shown tonight in case you needed to watch them again uh, another time. So I'm going to give you a, a moment just to... Uh, Look at the get the website ready and if you want to use the QR code and then I'm going to show the video for the current 10th grade students that are going into their 11th and 12th grade years. Hello, my name is Michael Sheehan. I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the STEM Academy, as well as the IB Diploma Program Coordinator. Welcome to the course selection process for the 11th and 12th grade school years. The purpose of this presentation is to discuss the selection process and provide information regarding the IB Diploma Program and the STEM Pathways Program. There will be opportunity to ask questions regarding this process after viewing this presentation. All the information for course selection is found on our school website. The QR code in the bottom corner of each slide will lead you to the course selection website, including an online padlet to post questions about the process. I want to start by giving you some things to consider when selecting your IB and pathway courses for the next two years. Make your choices based on interest and motivation. The courses you are choosing are two years in length, so it's important to pick courses that will keep your interest. There will be opportunities to ask questions about specific courses and levels later. Ask lots of questions. We want to help you make the most informed choices possible. Speak with your counselor. They are a wonderful resource and have a good understanding of the courses. If you are interested in a particular college or university program, please research what they are looking for in terms of coursework and speak with your counselor. Let's start with the IB program. All 11th and 12th grade students are, are IB students. Within the, I, within the diploma program are two paths that can be taken, course candidacy and diploma candidacy. For the course candidacy path, the requirements are the completion of six IB courses, one from each of the six groups that you will learn about during this presentation, completion of theory of knowledge year one course, which occurs during the 11th grade year, and successful completion of the downtown graduation project. Information regarding the graduation project can be found in the program of study as well as through Mr. Sherlock in the Knowledge Commons. The second path that students can choose to take is Diploma Candidacy. Requirements for Diploma Candidacy are completion of six IB courses with three being taken at the higher or HL level and three taken at the standard or SL level. Diploma candidates must also complete both year one and year two of the IB Theory of Knowledge course complete all creativity, activity, and service requirements, as well as complete the extended essay or EE. 
Completion of the diploma candidacy requirements make you eligible for the IB diploma. The awarding of the IB diploma is determined by the IB organization and is based on your, assess your assessment results. More information will be pro provided regarding CASNI E once the 11th grade year begins. The decision on your path does not need to be made until the spring of your 11th grade year, but students considering the diploma candidacy must select three high-level courses from the beginning. Students are permitted to take four courses at the higher level. If you are interested in 4-HLs, please speak with your counselor about whether this is the best option for you. Now let's go through the IB subject groups as defined by the IB organization. Group 1 is known as the Language and Literature group. All students must select English Literature as one of their IB courses, but can, cho can choose to take either the SL or HL level. If you are curious about specific requirements for the course, such as work studied, please speak with your English teacher. Group 2 is the Language Acquisition group. All students must select a, a language at either the standard or higher level. Please speak with your language teacher about the difference between the two levels. Group 3 is the Individual and Societies group. We are fortunate enough to have five different courses available for this group, each at both the standard and higher levels. All students must select one from the course list shown. Students do have the opportunity to select two courses from this group if they choose to use one of them as their group six choice. It is important to note that if you are a student interested in attending a university outside the U.S. that you should research any specific requirements they have for this group. For example, one student from a previous graduating class did not have their psychology course recognized by their chosen university. Any questions about these courses, please see your social studies teacher. Group four is the experimental science group. You've taken all three of these courses in ninth and 10th grade. All students must select one of these courses as their group four requirement. Like group three, students may choose to select a second course from this list as their group six choice. Please reach out to your science teacher if you have any questions about these courses. Group five is mathematics. Four courses are available for this group. Students must select a math course. Your, courses, your choices are dependent upon the previous math courses you have taken in your areas of interest. This slide provides an overview of each course. The emphasis of each course is the same regardless of level. The difference in levels is the depth at which the five main topic areas are explored. Please speak with your math teacher as well as your counselor about which course and level is best for you. The last group is the arts and electives group. As mentioned with group three and four, a second choice from those groups can be substituted for the choices listed here. So it's possible to take so it is possible to take two social studies courses or two science courses. You may only choose one course from this list. The last part of the program is to discuss the IB core elements, theory of knowledge, CAS, and EE. Theory of knowledge course seeks to understand the question, how do, we, how do you know what you know? All 11th grade students are automatically enrolled in year one of the course. This course meets four times in a 12-day cycle. Students who elect diploma candidacy must complete year two of the theory of knowledge course as well. CAS is intended to be a collection of enjoyable and challenging experiences determined by you to extend your abilities. The EE is an in-depth study of a focused topic chosen from a list of available diploma program subjects for the session. Ultimately, the EE is an opportunity for you to prepare for university level research and research paper writing while still in high school. CAS and EE meetings will be, help, be held during advisory. Mrs. Sherlock will be meeting with you at the beginning of your 11th grade year to provide more information about the process and the requirements. Again, your decision on the path does not need to be made until the spring of your 11th grade year.
Something unique to our school is our STEM Pathways program. Pathway courses provide students with an opportunity to understand careers in that particular field as well as explore some subject specific topics. As you can see, we have options in multiple STEM areas. Pathway courses meet four times per 12 day cycle and are not IB courses. Many students connect their pathway courses to the STEM practicum completed in the summer prior to their 12th grade year. Students must select one pathway to pursue during their 11th and 12th grade year. An opportunity to learn more about the pathway courses will be provided during the upcoming breakout sessions. Students wishing to participate in performance music courses are, are permitted to do so during seminar. Students may choose up to two of these courses. When choosing marching band, please select the correct course based on the residency denoted by an E or a W in the course number. This slide provides the timeline for the course selection process for this year. You have the opportunity during seminar on January 12th to talk with the faculty about courses. Your parents will also have the opportunity on January 18th to ask questions of the faculty via Zoom. The online portal opens January 22nd and closes February 2nd. Directions for the, for the portal can be found on the course selection website. Please make sure you complete the online planner before the window closes on the 2nd. This slide shows a screenshot of the planner. Any changes after the second must be a request by filling out the Google survey linked on the course selection website. Any questions regarding the planner, please see your counselor, Michelle, or myself. Once you complete the online planner, please return your signed course selection sheet to the subject teacher designated on the sheet. For current ninth grade, please return your sheet to your universal physics teacher. For 10th grade, please return your sheet to your biology teacher. We ask that you do this by February 2nd. Please use this website to access all the needed information for course selection. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This site includes links to resources such as the program of study that includes more information on credit requirements, IB information, and summary of all courses. Course selection sheets are also available if needed as well as a link to a Google form if you have any requests you would like to change after February 2nd. Thank you. So again, that was the video for the current 10th grade students. They watched that actually yesterday because of snow. The dates got pushed back a little bit, but so they watched that during advisory uh, and then had time during our seminar period yesterday at the end of the day to ask questions of the staff. Um, so you can also find that web, uh, video again on the, the district website on the course selection page if by chance you need to look at it again because there is more information in the 10th grade year video than the 9th grade year video because of all the options for IB, Pathways, CAS, and then Diploma versus Course Candidacy. So uh, at about 15 minutes at seven o'clock, the Zoom rooms that are listed on the website, the course selection website will be made available and teachers will be able to ask questions. There are a few uh, subjects that weren't represented because teachers were not available tonight. So if you have any questions about anything that you weren't able to get answered tonight, please uh, let us know, email me a uh, call and we will gladly help you out so you can get uh, your students can make the best decisions possible for the next two years. Thank you.